300 million. That's how many people have bought Minecraft since it first showed up back in 2009, and you're probably one of them. But it had to start somewhere. 15 years ago, somebody found a little indie project in an obscure gaming forum and played Minecraft for the very first time. So who was it? It's time to find the first Minecraft player. Minecraft was released on May 17th of 2009, but you probably already know that. What you might not know is that its life started a week earlier on May 10th when Notch began developing what he called the Cave Game Tech Test, the famous Minecraft demo with our first look at the basics of the game. Over the course of the next three days, the Cave Game Tech Test developed into a proper cave game and Notch shared it with his first player, Doc. Thanks for watching and have a- No, of course, like we already knew that. Doc was even the first person to join Mojang as their original artist, but he wasn't really the first player, right? Minecraft didn't even exist at this point, nobody had accounts, it wasn't official. So even though there were tons of testers and tech geeks experimenting around with it, if we want to find the real first Minecraft player, what we really need is the oldest Minecraft account. But that's a lot easier said than done. For starters, Minecraft accounts didn't exist at first, and by the time they did, there were already hundreds of unofficial testers. Any one of them could have been the first to snag an account and become the official first Minecraft player. So if we want to find the first account, we've got to go back, way back to the famous TIG source forum where Minecraft got its start and see who was even around. Accounts and level saving went live on May 21st according to Notch's blog, and if we look at old chat logs and forum posts from that time, there's a ton of discussion about Minecraft, but absolutely nothing about making an account. Apparently, the page was actually broken for a little while. But when Notch fixed it the next day, someone was there to register in just minutes. Their name was Nikika, and that's it, that's all we know. They never mentioned their username anywhere, even after checking the entire forum and months of chat logs. And by 2011, Nikika had apparently given up on Minecraft. Basically, they could be first, but we can't really ask them and make sure. However, now we know something really important. Registering didn't actually start working until May 22nd, so was Nikika really first? Turns out, not at all. Two guys named Xander and Fartronomicon, as well as the legendary C418, were all there right when level saving and accounts dropped. But can we actually find any of their usernames? Well, C418 is C418, duh, but Fartronomicon actually came before him. If you look up his name though, all you get is someone from 2022 who probably saw the account in these logs, not the real guy. Now the hunt is on. We have a lead on who might have the first Minecraft account, we just don't know what it is. Fartronomicon shows up in all the logs, right up until the day he made his account. And then, mysteriously, he vanishes. No messages, no name change, no forum posts, nothing. But you see this little thing here next to his name? Back in the day when people used IRC chat instead of something like Discord, it would actually send out a screen name and IP address every time they joined a chat. And Fartronomicon here apparently also went by Kish. So if you copy that name and paste it into TIG source, it's him. Fartronomicon was really Fartron all along. And all it takes is a quick search on NameMC to find the account Fartron. Zero views a month, no name changes, no skin changes, looking absolutely untouched since the day it was made over 14 years ago. But how do we know they were first? I mean, they're the first to talk about registering, sure, but who's to say someone didn't beat them to the punch and keep quiet? This is still a super important find, but not a perfect one. Really, Notch himself was the only one who knew the truth about the first Minecraft account, and unless he released some sort of list of all the Minecraft players from the very beginning, that secret would stay with him. But that would never happen, right? Let's put a pin in that and fast forward to November 2011. For Mojang, business was booming. Minecraft had 16 million players, it was winning awards left and right, and that was all before they even released the game. But they were finally ready to do it. No more testing, no more early access, no alpha, no beta, this was it. This is what they had all been waiting for. But when you're announcing your game to tens of millions of people that have been watching your every move for years, there are some pretty big shoes to fill. It had to be absolutely perfect. So in the days leading up to Minecraft 1.0, Mojang got to work adding everything that would make Minecraft what it is today. Enchanting, brewing, nether fortresses, villagers, ender dragons, even an entire dimension for the game's finale. 
But amidst all those incredible changes was one tiny little bonus that not many people know about. Look at this. Right here in the Java file for the final Minecraft pre-release, there's a folder called Title. That's nothing special. Every Minecraft version had one to keep their logo and splash text in. But this time, something was different. This time, there was a file that nobody had ever seen before, earlyplayers.txt. For the first time, we finally knew the very first Minecraft players, up to 722 of them, all officially released by Mojang. So, case closed, right? I mean, Easy was Notch's wife, so she doesn't really count, but Racker12 was the very first Minecraft player. Then Ulysses Slaughter, then Newspaperboy55, then Eat Whitefish, and so on. But here's the thing. We don't really know anything about this list, except exactly what it says, early players. This might not be all of them, since players like Doc are missing, and even if it was, it might not be in order. Even Notch himself mentioned that the list wasn't fully accurate. Don't get me wrong, it was an amazing starting point, but that's it. And six years ago when I first started this research, that's as far as anyone was gonna get. It was a dead end that I could never pass. All I could do was give up and move on. January 27th, 2022. Years had passed since I gave up the search, but things had changed now. I wasn't just making low-budget factions videos anymore, I was making proper documentaries, and I had 10 times as many people watching me do it. But more importantly, I knew people. People that were a lot smarter and a lot more experienced than me, and at the time, they had just stumbled onto something massive, the Minecraft user ID. Let me explain. So when you make a Minecraft account, a couple things happen. You pick a username, like Aiden, you pick a password, like Cheesecake is overrated 77, and Mojang assigns you a UUID for servers and websites to keep track of you. But for a few years, behind the scenes, there was something else that nobody but them knew about, the user ID. It just added a number to every account in order of when they were created. But that meant if we could find the first user ID, we could find the first player. So they went down the list one after another, all the way back to the very beginning. And eventually, there was just one name left. Eat Whitefish. A name you've probably never heard before, because as far as I can tell, he hasn't been seen by a single soul in nearly 15 years. But this mystery man holds the key to the very first Minecraft account to this day. So where is he now? You're not gonna believe it, but he's still around. And not only that, he's kind of a legend. Eat Whitefish's real name, from everything I can tell, is Daniel Arneson, and he works with Red Bull as a motocross racer in Iceland. 15 years ago, I don't think even he would have expected that. Kind of like Notch and the insane success that he found. Before the millions of players, before the fame and fortune it has today, Minecraft had to start somewhere. There was a time when the Minecraft community was completely empty, a barren wasteland, except for just one man standing all alone. A man that, whether he knows it or not, was the first to see something special in Minecraft before hundreds of millions of people even knew it existed. A man that made history. And now, we finally found him. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Peace, peace.